breaking traffic alert. Rebecca, what's the latest? Guys, we have a devastating tractor trailer crash that resulted in a fire that actually spread to the Mount Juliet Road overpass and has shut down I-40 westbound in the Mount Juliet area near the overpass as fire crews remain on the scene. As you can see, the fire is out. We've told we've been told serious injuries have resulted from this crash. The cab looks very burned out. We're very concerned about the driver of that tractor trailer. I-40 westbound remains shut down in Wilson County. The stretch you really want to avoid is between Mount Juliet Road and Golden Bear Gateway. Let's head out to New Channel 5's Cole Johnson. He joins us this morning from where thousands of cars are being detoured. Where are they sending them, Cole? Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Well, this is really a controlled mess. I think that's the best way to describe it and really a headache for drivers. So I'm right where Mount Juliet Road meets that overpass and the entrance onto I to I 40 westbound. Now they're taking people off of the roads here on I 40 westbound. They're getting off and then getting right back on. They've got multiple officers here directing the traffic, but we are seeing quite a bit of lines coming from Mount Juliet Road and from the interstate. So I'm going to get out of the way and show you a little bit of what we're seeing. So right now this area here, this is the exit ramp from I 40 westbound and then they're getting right back on. So you can see that they just are directing them that way. And then I'm going to pan the camera this way back over to Mount Juliet Road. And you can see the massive lines that have been forming. Now we've been seeing this since I've been here for the past 20 minutes or so of people just getting in line. It's come and gone with this line, but they are moving traffic here again. It's really a controlled mess because this is definitely going to be a headache. But you can see if I pan can't pan the camera back this way that they have that overpass still closed off. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but that is a no go, a non starter for these drivers this morning. Again, they're going to keep controlling this area, it seems, and moving people that way to try and make this less of a headache for all those that are heading westbound. But again, it's going to be a bit of a mess. But Rebecca, we know that Sky 5 has had a lot more a um, better view of this from where they are up in the sky. Can you tell us more about what's going on? Yeah, right now we're checking out Sky 5, including that detour Cole was just talking about. Uh, eastbound lanes are open on I-40 in the area. TDOT, though, is sending a maintenance crew to check on the overpass because that crash was right into a column. So they need to make sure that this overpass is safe for drivers before sending anyone back over it this morning. So it could be a very long time. Three miles of bumper to bumper traffic, really all the way now to Golden and Bear Gateway. Go ahead and use Highway 70. You can use uh, Division Street. You can use Central Pike alternate routes for you this morning to avoid that big bumper to bumper stretch in Mount Juliet.